Hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hardcore Minecraft. Today, I am down in the mines because I wanted to do just a little bit of grinding down here, grabbing some stone. We don't need diamonds or really any ores or anything, but I really just want stone super badly. And the reason that I want stone is because today is the day that we are finally going to take on the castle. Now, I do have to preemptively say if things sound a little bit different in this video, I'm officially back at my apartment. It's a completely different space, and honestly, the acoustics were kind of better in the closet in my grandparents' basement, so that that does frustrate me, but yeah, I'm gonna work it out, and uh, I'm back, and I'm excited to be building in this hardcore world again. I actually wrote my very first mock exam this morning, and oh, it's gonna be tough, but I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna graduate soon, and that's an exciting thought. Alrighty, and with that all collected, I'm gonna send that back up via our minecart system and head upstairs myself to get to building. The minecart system is still working just as well as ever. This minecart is going to take some stuff and sort it for us soon. And in the meantime, I can grab a little bit of what I need, I think. Yeah, I, I think a bit of stone should do it for now to get me started. Hello, villagers! It's a wonderful day today! It's episode 31, Barbara and Dorothy! How are we doing? There are so many iron golems. <laughs> Why? Why is there so many? Bro, you're, you're holding the door open. This is dangerous! Don't you know the dangers of holding the door open? Alrighty, let's get real. Let's focus. Today... The village is looking absolutely fantastic. However, my lovely farmer villager, it is missing something. And that something is this castle behind me. Now in any successful castle build, I think one must acquire a plan. Because, well, castles, castles are a bit tough to build, I'm not gonna lie to you, and without a plan, we are doomed for failure. So, I'm gonna go ahead now and see if I can't mark out some plans for some new towers and structures for my house, my home, my castle. Okay, I've got a bunch of my blocks set up here. <laughs> this area is a little loud. Hi, Holifer. What is everybody doing on Dandelion Hill? Lilith, did you coordinate this? They're so funny sometimes with the areas that they decide to hang out. Okay, so we're going to start by creating this entrance because I think that's a very logical spot to start. I'm gonna definitely need to take down some of the bushes, sadly. I will put them back. Um, I like this whole shape that we're going, but I'm imagining this as more of a gate and less of, less of a bridge. So what I'm gonna do is turn this area into two towers instead of just one. So it's like symmetrical on either side right here. I think that'll make sense and sort of clean up the whole look. So all I'm gonna do is round out this tower. I'm gonna keep these and just round out the cobble. Oh, hey kitty. Come on, come on, Juliet. Come on, come on. That's it, that's it, thank you. Where's Romeo? Now, I have to count out how many spaces I want. I need it to be an odd number. Sorry, Golem, get out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's take this down in this and have it be even with our wall here. So that'll be six and seven. I'm gonna get a brand new structure in right over here instead of this kind of awkward wall and temporarily taking down some of the safety railing. This could get dangerous. It's kind of surreal taking all this down, to be honest. We built this up on episode one. Like this wall was here and this, this village house, this was here in episode one. And it's kind of the last piece of the puzzle. Well, except for that guard house over there, but it's, it's cool. We're, we're taking it down. Now, this is immediately going to pose problems for my staircase here, but I am just sort of going to power through them, I think, and try and get the tower marked in. So far, so good. I'm pretty much just covering up what we had here, but keeping the general shape. I'll go back in and add back in the windows afterwards. So far, I'm just kind of enjoying the process, to be honest. I haven't had a big project to really build in this world because I've taken on this world rather slowly, uh, I'll be the first to admit. Pretty much just done one villager house at a time in a very manageable pace, but that's just because my life has been a bit insane lately and now that things are loosening up and summer is approaching, I'm kind of excited to be taking on this sort of bigger structure. Not gonna lie, the village being this busy does make it a tad challenging to see what's going on with the castle, but yeah. I think this is a good start. It's looking very official and stuff. All right, mission accomplished. We have two lovely towers and this little in-between area. I think that works. 
One of my priorities with the castle is just giving myself a little bit more interior space to work on. I think this is going to help because it's just sort of a general expansion overall. Um, and the very first thing I'm going to do actually is make this area an interior. I need some oak wood though. How do I not have any oak wood? Whoop, need these. So I want this area to be, it's still like a hallway, a transitional hallway between these two towers. But I want it to be enclosed, so I'm going to actually do walls. <laughs> and that means that I may have to raise this roof up a couple of blocks. I'm honestly okay with that, I think. Okay, so the next bits are, in my opinion, where things start getting a little tricky. <laughs> I wanted to get this in as like a premise, but now I need to go ahead and actually build out the castle. So got to remove a lot of this stuff and start marking in plans for the actual big bulk of the castle interior. And I have to do all of it without accidentally letting any villagers see the outside world. The main thing that I know for a fact that I definitely want in this area is this original villager house and main part of my castle that I, well, never really took advantage of, but you know, this is the main house that we transformed into a castle. I want this to be the highest point of the entire build. Like I want it to be big and epic and almost fantasy-like in nature. So I'm gonna build sort of a big square around it and try to mark out my plans the best I can. Look, some of this is still original villager house. That's kind of cool. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we are gonna end up cutting off the front of this a little bit, but it's okay, it's worth it. You know, it's a really good thing that I have feather falling. A really, really good thing. I should probably actually put mending on these boots now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm not sure why I never have. <laughs> I don't know if this is exactly tall enough, but I'm, I'm connecting it together and, and we'll see how I feel when I get back down. Okay, so update. Um, <laughs> It's a really big box. It's, it's not that impressive of a box, but I imagine a second like rectangular box right here on this hill, and then a third one over on the other side, kind of mirroring that over here, right? Like they connected to this, and, and we just, we put it together and we make it work. All right, okay. I'm gonna get the rest of the outlines in now, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to do some actual building. Hopefully it won't take me long. I'm making progress, and honestly, I really like it. So this stage of a build is very important because it is the stage in which we are figuring out the scale of the castle. And that's really important here because in general, this castle is not, or this kingdom, I guess, in general, it's not huge. It's, it's kind of villager scaled. You know, the villagers walk around in here pretty normally. It's definitely far off a mega build. So I don't want to suddenly plop in a castle that's like ginormous and just takes over the whole village. It, the village is still there. It's still, it's still important. But the important thing for me is looking at these skylines here. So like back here, when I'm walking along this wall, am I going to be able to see the castle? The answer is yes, because these are going to be towers. So it's going to be a bit taller than this. And it'll be easy to see and it kind of just testing out that perspective as i'm walking along and seeing exactly where it starts popping up as you can see along here not really popping up a lot and we're coming along here and i really like this perspective right you've just entered through here the library initially blocks your view of the castle entirely and you're kind of wanting to go towards this garden area but then as you turn your perspective changes and we come up upon this very very tall castle and honestly i'm kind of enjoying that yeah no i think the scale is perfect i think that's good i don't think that's going to overwhelm the village but i think it'll still look pretty epic now, I don't think I have enough stone for this, but the next stage, I wanna just fill in this big main tower and kinda get an idea of what that looks like. So, I'm gonna use all of the stone that I have in my inventory and see how far that gets us. Let's go. This castle, for some reason, makes my villagers want to leave very badly. They're driving me nuts. I've rescued so far Barbara, Pierre, Florence, and now Lilith is wanting to leave. I think I've blocked off now all of the routes of exits. 
Um, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I have to keep like checking the perimeter. I literally saw Pierre wandering around out in the farm, which to be fair, good on him. Like that's, I mean, the, the, the villagers technically, I could see why they would want to be out in the farm. It's pretty, but it's also dangerous and well, no. Anyways, this is the castle so far. As you can see, I've completely buried my old one, but I, I think it's worth it. It's looking great. I, however, have absolutely no stone. I can use some of this andesite. I was going to do like a cute little edge along here because I think, you know, I think that'd be nice. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, we definitely need some stone. So, my lovely friends, I propose that we go ahead and do a little one hour mining session. That way we can finish off the castle easy enough, at, at least the, you know, the basic shape of it. My stone pickaxe should work perfectly fine for this. Easy, let's do it. Boop, down we go. <laughs> okay, I think I'm literally just, oh, let me put back this on. I'm literally just going to go in this direction for as long as it lets me. I'm really excited for this castle because it means that I get to decide on like all the little details and the interiors too, which we haven't really done yet. Like I haven't properly had a base, which is insane because this is episode 31, <laughs> but <laughs> we've sort of just taken over the villagers as our base and uh, we're officially getting our own and that's exciting. I should definitely be picking up some of this granite as well because this castle does have some really big roofs and I do plan on using granite for it as well as maybe some terracotta. You know, I know I said I wasn't looking for diamonds, but I'm a little offended that I haven't found any yet. I've been going for so long. <laughs> All right, my inventory is getting extremely full, so I'm going to take this first set of loot back up to the minecart so they can bring it up and sort it for me. This is definitely not enough quite yet, so I've got to keep going, but it's a good start. I found a cave. Oh, <laughs> it's a mine shaft and it has diamonds. That's kind of lucky. Anyways, don't mind if I do. Diamonds, whoa, is it a group of eight? Oh, <gasps> it is. Cool. <laughs> That's really lucky, I feel. I think the main thing on the castle that I would like to get done today is just sort of blocking out the shapes. So what that means is basically getting all of the shapes, like the big squares, the circles, the towers, everything that I want in place so that we can visualize it. And then we can start detailing it, doing the interior and all of that once the shapes are in place. That's kind of the biggest deal. That's what uses the most blocks. Okay, something tells me this is going to take a lot of scaffolding. <laughs> Should be fun though. Um, I think the very first thing that I'm going to do is get these towers in. So these are what's going to give this a lot more of a fantasy look. As you can tell, they're overhanging quite a lot. Obviously not in a super realistic sort of way, but I like the look of them and I think they'll look really, really great with some little dark oak details on them. I am having so much fun playing in Minecraft today. Look at this castle. It's like, it's a whole castle, kinda. <laughs> the shape is definitely there, right? Like, you see what I'm talking about? It's sort of like blocking in the shape. Like, you could see where this is gonna go, even though all the details and the windows and like cool stuff is not necessarily in yet. Don't mind me just breaking my ankles. It's cool, right? I'm really happy with this, I think. Now, it does have a long way to go, but Here's what the inside looks like. I think one of the next stages is going to be unfortunately taking down my starter house. Um, I was gonna try to think of something to do on the interior that involved it, but I, I think I should just take it down. It's, it's gonna end up limiting the interior and I don't think it's worth it. So let's go ahead and destroy this starter house. Oh, there's a bee! We have a castle bee now. Um, I'm so sorry. I, where did the bee go? Did the bee just immediately leave? Can we go on a little adventure down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Come on in. Oh, sorry, sorry. My bad, that's, sorry. Okay, perfect. So I've made a bee friend. I'm very happy about this. Um, I need to make you a hive, which is why I've brought you in here. <laughs> Cause you don't have one at the minute. Okay, um. So we are in fact going to have a local bee. Okay, now, as I was saying, Back to destroying my starter house. So the next important step in all of this for me is actually going to be um, 
working out a little bit more of the skyline. So let me explain to you what I want to do next. Basically, this section here looks a little bit awkward right now. It's a bit top heavy. Let's do a quick little landing. Perfect. So the top of this tower, right? A little awkward at the minute. I imagine we flatten this off a little bit, add another platform, and then we do like a little house-like structure right in the center there. This will give me maybe a good place for a bedroom, perhaps an elytra landing pad in there, so I can get to the top of my castle very easily, and it'll also just sort of balance out the whole look and give it a really good, like, top finishing structure. Because let's look at this again. So remember this from when it was just wireframing? Now it's a whole castle that is very clearly visible from here through the line of all of these houses. I don't know how all of you feel, but I'm pretty pleased with how this is coming together so far. So let's go ahead and work on this next step. So first things first, I'm going to create a little bit of a wooden floor up at the top here. I want to use a bunch of wood in this because at the minute we've just got a bunch of stone brick and this will break it up a bit. I do also plan to texture the whole thing with a bit of mossy, a bit of cobblestone, you know, so it's not just plain stone brick and a straight wall going down, but those are the types of things that come a little bit later on. I know that I say this a lot, but I'm really trying to emphasize how much I outline my stuff before I detail it because it's so important. I would be here all day if I was trying to detail as I was going because I make mistakes and I don't like proportions sometimes and then I have to do it again. And it's easier if you only got to tear down a wireframe. Okay, so here's the basic shape. Let's hop down over to this tower over here and see if we like it. Okay, so from here, I can already tell this isn't tall enough for me. It only barely goes above these side towers. I'd like it to be up here somewhere. So a couple blocks taller on this part and then also curving upwards, I think would help. Right, let's get to work. I'm so proud of my progress today. Pretty much everything that I've done in these clips has been done on one <laughs> single Saturday. And oh my gosh, it has been such a fun Saturday. Let me show you a little tour around, right? So now we have this room in here, which at the minute is a little bit small, but right, there's room up here for activities, so I'm not mad at it. And I think I may eventually want to transition this better because this old entrance doesn't really make sense anymore, but I haven't done the interiors yet, so I don't want to mess with it too much until I figure that out. Then we can come up this way and we have this tower over here, which are now perfectly connected and mostly interior. We can get up to the top of it, of course. And leaving this little tunnel, we can come this way. And this leads us into this big grand hallway, which I think we can do some beautiful chandeliers and maybe have our map room in here, like a war planning sort of room. I don't know, it'd be kind of cute. And then we have this grand room. I think we can split this up into a couple floors and I think I'd like the very top floor to be my bedroom. Cause well, I, I've never had a bedroom and, and the idea of having a bedroom is quite exciting, I'll be honest. So maybe I'll work on that next actually. I was thinking, because we don't really use the elytra that much at the moment, I was thinking maybe what if the top of my bedroom was accessible as an elytra? So maybe it would get me to use it more? Like I, I could fly up in the air and then I could come in for a landing in here and this is not very graceful, but uh, yeah, right here. And then this could be like a doorway of some sort. And you come in and you don't fall down. <laughs> don't fall down. You, you come across and you sleep in here. I kind of like that idea, honestly. And I, I might even make it so that you can't get up here from below. Like you can only alight your fly in. Because that means the villagers can't get up here. Which gives me some peace and quiet. And honestly, after today, I could really use some peace and quiet. We love you, villagers. You're just a lot sometimes, okay? Now, obviously speaking, I am well aware that we are far from finished on this castle and I have a lot more to do, but we're at kind of a point where it's all blocked in and I need to focus on specific areas now. And I think the next one I'm gonna do is definitely the bedroom. So let's get started on that. Important things to bring into a bedroom are definitely carpets, maybe some banners, just some things to make me look like a proper princess in this area. So if we make a bunch of these banners, we will be able to transfer them like so, which will be great. We get, oh, <laughs> hello. It'll be great because we can decorate with these now. Hello, everybody. How do we like the castle? 
going great, I think. I do want to work out something for <laughs> that was close for proper landing up here, but for now the tiny doorway is gonna have to work. Let's get a floor in, and also I think probably some windows over on this side wouldn't hurt. And maybe over on this end we can do like a big grand fireplace, so I can stay warm up here in my tower. Just sort of loosely marking in for now. Now, of course, we definitely need a royal looking bed, and I think a red bed is going to be perfect for this. Some carpet is definitely a must, and some better lighting. Uh, for now, more torch spam. I am absolutely giving myself three beds. I have worked too hard in this village to compromise on this. We're getting three beds. That's the end of the story. I just need some quartz stairs to go right there now to kind of extend the pillow look, and I think that'll be a bed fit for a queen. Gotta go get some. One of these days I'm gonna jump out of that window without my elytra on. It's not gonna be a good day. This is kind of fun already. I enjoy not being able to get up here without flying. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I can turn this into like a little bit of a deck. I've got a great view of the village. This is gonna be perfect. I can get used to this. Okay, so there's our bed. I think I can do like a canopy above it too maybe, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm also, of course, going to want some different end tables in spots. Um, maybe a table there, for example, with a little dandelion on it to match with the village. It's perfect. It's so homey already. And, of course, I am going to want an actual working fireplace if I'm to stay warm. So, let's get some of these slabs going across. Just decorative, I guess, but still effective, I think. I finally have a place to sleep. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> There's a few more furniture items I'm sure we can fit into this spot, but for now, very pleased with my bedroom. I, I've got to like connect it up to the ceiling, I've got to put the windows in properly, but it, you know, there's other concerns that I have at the minute, so I think for the moment, we will move on. Very pleased though. I think something that I'm going to enjoy a lot is getting a bunch of these banners around. I mean, I already love those there, but we can also get some going up high on the big towers. We can get some on the interior, kind of like hanging down. I imagine this almost Harry Potter inspired hallway going here. I mean, it's not as big and as grand, but we can work with it, I think. And maybe just on little transition areas through here, we could have like banners on either side. Yes, <laughs> I'm so in love with it already. It just has my mind working. I, I just, oh, hello, Pierre, do you like my castle? I've got a villager proof it. That's important, actually. It's not villager proofed at the minute. They could potentially decide to just die here. I don't think they will choose a dandelion hill death, but you know, they can if they so choose. Hey, buddy, it's got Poppy. That's so nice of you. Oh, okay. Well, it is nighttime now, so I suppose our very first night in the new bedroom is in order. Whoop, there we go, beautiful 180 landing, and we sleep. Yep, I like it, I'm happy. This is good. <laughs> and we can leave and just immediately fly down and get to wherever we need to get to within the village. Have breakfast at the bakery, go talk to Lilith at the tavern. Get whatever we need from the butcher. That's all coming together. I have spent the entirety of this episode building a castle. And honestly, I'm not mad at that at all. I'm very happy. I think this is such a lovely castle. And I'm not done yet. I want to focus more of our attention up around the bedroom because that seems like the easiest area to focus today. So I'm going to try to focus this midsection right here and get that kind of detailed up so that we can visualize it better. I do think that one of the best ways to take this on is going to be just simply taking it section by section. So we'll do this section today, maybe next episode we'll do like the great hall section, maybe someday we'll do a dungeon section, maybe we'll have a throne room someday or a treasure room. Like, I don't know, but I think that doing it in these sections will make it a lot more manageable of a project and not like just do it all at once and kind of shock you guys. Okay, so first thing, castle crenulations are definitely a must. I'm gonna do those with some stairs here. 
I do still realize that landing up here is going to be important. So um, I'm going to try to work out how exactly to do this. And I think maybe just an edge in slabs may do the trick. Like that might be good. That might like give that illusion that I'm kind of kept in here a little bit while still giving that sort of castle crenulation look. This looks so much better already, and I think the next stage is definitely going to be just adding more very simple details all along here. Don't know if I can actually get this one in. Yeah, there we go. So just like a little edge along here. I've done this sort of castle detailing before on some old creative videos, and I just really like the way that it looks. Like getting this little border along here and breaking this up, I think is a big deal to big flat structures like this. There we go, just like so. And if we wanted to take it a step further, we could actually change out the block colors in here. So taking these out and replacing them with like an andesite, which is a slightly different color and texture. And yeah, it just sort of breaks up all the stone brick a little bit. I really love that. Oh my goodness. Why? That's a trap line. That leads to a trap. Y'all, please work with me here. Leave. Go. Leave. Go on. I'm ashamed of you. Get out. Go on. Out it out. Out it out. Leave. Please leave. Please figure it out. Come on. Put your two brain cells together. You could do it. Thank you, Eugene. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Florence. Come on. Oh, that's Athena. Athena, I expected better of you. Like, what? What? what well, why did I decide to go in here? There's nothing for them here. It's mind boggling the things that they get up to on their free time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so update. I think that looks so much better. It borders it. Whoops, it easy. <laughs> it borders it a lot better. It details a lot better and it, it just matches so much better. Um, this, I'm gonna do the same sort of detail along the side of it, but uh, it's not our focus right now. I just wanted the scaffolding back to be honest. I'm definitely enjoying this a lot. Oh my goodness, they're making babies. Okay, they've stopped. Thank goodness. Not sure I can handle any more of you lot. Of course, the side and back entrances and windows matter too. So let's get those in. Um, and over here. And here. And I missed one. Alright, that's fine. Okay, progress update. Let's take a little flight and see how we like those details. Um, I really like them, I think. This needs a window right here. But that makes such a big difference, to be honest. Look at that, it's so much better. It's just some simple little stairs and castle crenulations, but it does make all the difference to this castle. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to get a lot of this castle together in one episode, because it's kind of a lot to do, but I feel like we've done a very good job. This looks very clean. It's so much better than the little starter house that I had when we started this episode. There's obviously still a lot to do, but gosh, it's coming together. I like that we still have our little entrance down here. We can definitely do something with that and sort of expand out our storage room below. Also, we have this over here, which I think could be a much better connection. And also this isn't quite connected down to the ground yet, which it definitely needs to be. Yeah, but this this is really plain along here. I haven't done the back side yet. And I also think just some little extra structures coming off of that to add a little bit of depth would help a lot rather than it being a flat wall. So yes, there is still much to do, but I'm so proud of it so far. Now, my next question is a very important one. I want to know all of your thoughts and opinions and just everything about this castle. I know it's not finished yet, we've got a lot of details to do, but I'm gonna leave it at this point for right now and do a little bit of farming and hanging out with the villagers for the rest of the episode, because I wanna hear your thoughts. Like, before I finish it, what do you wanna see? Is there anything that I missed today, like any shape or anything that you hoped that I would have done? Or maybe I've taken it in a completely different direction than you wanted and you wanted like a different block palette. Or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe you wanna see some cool stuff like, a dungeon in the basement or a really cool chandelier room or or like a crystal room or I, I don't know I don't know what you want but it, tell me tell me what I want to hear all of your thoughts um I'm okay with definitely the shape and stuff that we have so far but obviously there's a lot of details left to do so I've got room for improvement based on all of your suggestions 
I genuinely think this has been the most fun I've had in Minecraft in a really, really long time. And I'm not sure if it's because I'm done clinical and I'm a little freer, or if it's because I really like building castles. But either way, I'm so glad that you could join me on this episode and that I could get it done and completed for all of you to see. Now I have filled up my inventory with carrots. Let's go see if anybody will trade with me. Hello, farmers. You're Pierre. You don't do carrots. Do you do carrots? You do carrots. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, you've maxed out. Is there anybody else? Hello, you do carrots as well. I'm glad we have so many carrot farmers. Cool. So, that leaves us with 32 emeralds. Very cool. Thank you, everybody. And, as for this, we've built the castle. It's done. <laughs> We are knocking things off of this board left, right, and center, and I am so proud of us for doing that. Anyways, everyone, with all of that said, I hope that you loved today's episode and our castle build. I'm so proud of it so far. I know it's missing a lot yet, but like, it's getting there, right? It's totally, it's totally getting there. I'm so proud of it and so incredibly excited for it. I am sorry about today's game audio that got lost halfway through. I'm not sure why that happened. OBS decided to go back to default settings without telling me randomly in the middle of a recording session. What, I didn't click anything? I don't, I can't explain that one, but it happened and I am sorry. I hope that you don't mind and that today's episode was still okay and you enjoyed the whole building process. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. And thank you so much for watching this episode and supporting this series. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.